So when we started this research, um, there was no definition of integration that was widely accepted and there was no measurement of integration out there. So it was kind of a general call for people to understand better what, what is integration? What are we talking about um, when we're talking about integration? How do we know if we're integrating or not? What are the behaviors of integration? Um, so I'm going to start with that uh, just general discussion of the theory of integration. So to start, we can think of integration on a very broad sense as making connections. So just weaving things together. That's just integration at large. Um, and particularly, we can think of integration as meaning weaving different or disconnected parts together. When we think of integration as applied to psychedelics, those different parts are often the world of the spiritual, the non-dual intense emotions, non-ordinary states, and the world of the mundane. So our daily lives, our traffic, um, our relationships, our work, our jobs, et cetera. How do we take those two worlds and meaningfully weave them together? That is psychedelic integration. So we put forward a um, definition of psychedelic integration, uh, one of many proposed definitions. And the definition we put forward has four components. Um, so one is that it's a process. Integration takes time, it's ongoing. Uh, one is that it is a translation. So there's connection between different parts. Um, another aspect is that it entails positive changes so that weaving these parts together makes us a more whole person that's inherently helpful. Um, and the last component is that it is uh, embodied, it is carried out in daily life. So taken all together, our definition is the process by which a psychedelic experience translates into positive changes in daily life. All right. So we can think of integration um, kind of like a seed. Um, and we can draw this analogy uh, between a, a seed growing into a tree and an individual integrating their experience and growing as a person. So we can think about the psychedelic experience as the seed, the seed of some potential. And it can be an incredible seed. It can be the, the most amazing transformative experience, but without sufficient uh, nutrients or, or attention given, um, it will just remain a seed. So what are those nutrients? Uh, we can think of the equivalent of light as reflection. Um, so the, the, the light of our awareness given to that experience without any awareness given, it's sort of like not having any sunlight on a seed. If you never pay attention to that experience again, eventually it fades out. Um, we can think of watering the seed as akin to making connections. So we have a transformative psychedelic, psychedelic experience. How do we then use those emotions, those learnings, those teachings, and actually connect that into our life to live di life differently, um, improve our internal and external state? And when we think of weaving those elements together, um, the natural outcome, just as with a seed, there's growth. Uh, with a person, there will be growth. We can think of that as the internal state of feeling settled, harmonized, and improved. Mm -hmm.